Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit Goyal, and today I am going to tell you about the visual force triggers. Now, first of all, let's understand what are triggers. Triggers are the custom code that fires when a record is created, updated, or deleted. Basically, it's an automated code which can be executed or which can perform whenever we create a new record, whenever we delete or whenever we update a record on a custom or on a standard object. There are two types of triggers. We have effects before triggers and we have effects after trigger. Why I'm writing here effects? Because basically we are going to write the trigger in an effects code. And... Uh, so basically apex code is generally contained in classes and we'll be going to create triggers in the form of apex classes so let's see how to create a trigger in a salesforce and how to execute a trigger so for that let's take a scenario the scenario is i have created one object over here books object and what i wanted to do is whenever a new record has been created into this book whenever a new record is created what let's say I write here book name dot net developer and the price price I entered over here is uh, whatever price I'll enter over here and uh, as soon as I click on save so what I want to do is I want to perform or I want to give a 10% discount on this particular on this price so I hope you have got my point what I want to do is I want to apply a discount on this price 10% discount so this I want to perform with the help of triggers so let's see how to create a trigger in Salesforce so to create a trigger first of all what I wanted to do is I wanted to create the or I want to build the logic into an apex class and then I'm going to initiate or call that apex class from a trigger so how to do that first of all let me create an apex class so to create an apex class click on setup develop and apex classes so I click on apex class click on new and I'm going to write an apex code over here so I write here public class and discount so this will be my class name then I write here public okay let me write in a proper order so that it will be very clear public static void apply discount book underscore underscore C books then I write here for book underscore underscore c b colon books and I write here b dot price underscore underscore c multiply equal to 0 0.9 now basically what is happening this in this course you see this class I have defined as a public so this means this class is available to other apex classes and triggers also now then I have created one apply discount function and this function is both public and static as well because it is a static method so you you do not need to create an instance of the class to access this particular function you can simply use a name of the class followed by a dot and the name of this particular function or method now if you see this method takes one parameter it is a list of book record which is assigned to the variable books and if you notice over here I have mentioned underscore underscore C because books is a or this book is a custom object so this indicates that it's a custom object so if we have if we are using any standard objects or if we are providing any standard objects for that we do not end with this post -fix. now if you see over here I write here over here B dot price underscore underscore C it means this price underscore underscore C it's a custom field that we have created in, in book object again the standard fields that are provided 
by default in Salesforce are accessed using the same type of dot notation but without the underscore underscore C. Then the statement, so this statement basically will take the old value of B dot price multiply it by 0 0.09 which means its value will be discounted by 10% and then store the new value into the B dot price underscore underscore C feed. So this is the Apex class so let me save this code and uh, now let's create a trigger and uh, call this class from that trigger so how to create a trigger now the best way to create a trigger is from the object itself so I click on create objects then I'll go to books here I want to create a new trigger right now there are no triggers defined so I I click on new trigger now you can see over here there is a trigger keyword over here here we have to provide a trigger name on which object and here we have to give events so basically we have to give a trigger name over here and speci so it specifies the name or the object on which it operates and defines the event that cause it to fire so let's say I give a name over here apply discount on book underscore underscore C and events will be before insert before insert so this trigger apply discount it operates on the book underscore underscore C and runs before new books are inserted into the database. Now let's complete this code first. So I write here book underscore underscore C books is equal to trigger dot new. Then I write here what is the I'm going to call this function. So how to call this function? As I told you, because it's a static function, so we do not require to create any object. We can simply use this class name and function name. And because it's a public, so this will be accessible from any trigger and any Apex class. So I write here, discount dot, function name is apply discount. So I copy paste, apply discount, bracket, it needs one parameter. So I pass here books so basically this line or this statement it creates a trigger it's a list of the books name books and assign it the contents to of a trigger context variable called trigger dot new so basically this trigger context variable are implicitly defined in all triggers and provide access to the record that cause the trigger to fire so in this case what happened this trigger dot new contains all the new books that are about to be inserted now this line of code it call the method apply discount from this discount class and it passes an array of new books over here now as the, our trigger is ready or my trigger is ready so I click on save what the line over here new yeah sorry about that I've missed this bracket over here because it's a list of arrays so that's why we need we require this bracket over here now I click on save so this trigger will be saved now let's go and check whether this trigger is working fine or not so I click on books and you see the status is active over here I click on new and try to create a new record I write here developer 501 certification price is let's say 2000 click on save so right if as you can see here I have entered the price over there 2000 but here you can see the price is 1800 because 10% discount has been applied on the price over there so this is how to implement a trigger in Salesforce that's all in my in this video I will be coming up with some new videos in with new topics I hope you like this video so that's all for the video have a nice day bye bye